Why is it easier to push an empty car than a car with a passengers? What is the additional force that prevent the car to move? If you know the answer, comment your answer in the comment box. Hello friends, I am Rahul, your STEM trainer. Today we are going to make catapult and we will be learning about Newton's second law of motion. So let's start today's video. First of all, we need some supply. catapult is ready. Now it is time for testing our catapult. We will be testing catapult by aiming our catapult arm at 45 degree angle and we will be adding more and more rubber bands. By adding more rubber bands it will increase the acceleration of the catapult arm. We will start by placing the catapult arm at 45 degree angle and with one rubber band. We'll release the catapult arm and note down the distance traveled. We'll repeat it by adding one rubber band every time and note down the distance traveled by the ball after testing the catapult. Now we will understand the concept behind it. Let us start with the little background of the catapult. A catapult is a ballistic device used to launch the projectile a great distance without the aid of gunpowder. A catapult uses the sudden release of stored potential energy to propel its payload. Catapult were first used around 400 BC in Greece and China as a weapon to launch rocks, arrows and other projectiles against enemies. Over the time, catapult were made so big that they became too difficult to use and eventually were no longer used. However, the fundamental concept used in working catapult are still in use every day. Engineers need to understand how much force is required to make an object with certain mass move. Catapult are one good way to learn about relationship between force, mass and acceleration. The relationship of force equals to mass multiplied acceleration is called Newton's second law of motion because it is the mathematical description of the relationship among the force, mass and accelerations. Newton's second law is quantitative description of the change that an unbalanced force can produce on the motion of the body. It states that the time rate of change of momentum of a body is equal to both magnitude and the direction of force imposed on it. The momentum of body is equals to product of mass and its velocity. For a body whose mass m is constant, it can be written in the form f equals to m into a, where f is force and a is acceleration. 
Let us understand Newton's second law of motion with an example. While catching a ball in the cricket game, a cricket player lowers his hand to save himself from getting hurt. By lowering his hand, the cricket player increases the time interval which decreases the acceleration of the ball. From Newton's second law, we know force equals to mass times acceleration. So the impact of force of the ball on the hand also get decreased. Now we will understand how Newton's second law of motion was used in the catapult. The ball has certain mass which was constant throughout the test. We are storing potential energy in the stretched rubber band which then converted into kinetic energy or acceleration was provided to the ball. After the catapult arm was released, the ball traveled certain distance which was the result of the force generated due to the release of rubber band. When we had added more rubber band in our catapult, the rubber band increased the release force, hence the acceleration and the ball traveled more distance. We hope you might have understood Newton's second law of motion. If you have any doubt, please comment below. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next video with another concept. Please do like, comment and share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed it. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.